Uh, hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the timer on delay block in the codices. So here we have the programming environment. Uh, you can find the timer on programming function block here in this set of function blocks. Uh, to bring it into the programming environment you just can drag and drop it here. And as soon as you place it, you will see that the contact will be inserted at the same time as well. And then you need to determine the name of the the block, the function block. For now, let's keep it as t on underline zero. If you press enter, you will see the auto declaration window, in which the type of the the, the variable is t on okay, by default. You can change the name, but it's uh, alright if you can keep if you keep it like this. Let's uh, click on OK, and you will see that the timer t on underline zero is declared as a t on variable type. We need to determine what the variable controls the timer, so let's uh, create a new variable start, which is a boolean one. We need to determine the preset time for the timer on delay. To do it, we need to type t, then hashtag, and then the amount of time then we, that we want. Let's assume that we want to have five seconds of delay. And the preset time can be determined. Uh, we, we can either remove this question mark or uh, determine or declare a new variable. I'll write preset or elapsed. Elapsed time. Uh, when we see the auto declaration window, you can see that here the type of the variable is set to time, which is uh, the correct way. Click on it. Uh, we can also use a coil as the output. Let's place a coil at the output of the motor of the timer and create a new variable with the name of motor, which should be a boolean one. Right, that's that's cool. Now we can add the sim at visualization as well to visualize the the process. We need to place one switch for the start contact and one uh, lamp, pilot lamp for the coil for the motor coil. And then we will see how does it work. So when we when we press the start switch, so in the uh, okay, let's find them. They are in the lamp switches. So lamp will be associated with the value for the motor. Properties, variable. And here we have the motor. Okay, so elapsed time and motor and start are the variables that we have defined. We have declared. T on underline zero is another variable which uh, the type of it is T on. As you pay attention here, you will see that there are sub uh, variables, let's say, which uh, belong to the T on, actually. So here we have the elapsed time, we have the input preset time and output of the timer, we'll use them later. So for now let's select motor as the uh, variable associated with the pilot lamp. Uh, we need to insert one switch, let's use a power switch and then it should be associated with the start contact. So now if I uh, run the program, as soon as we, we press the start switch here Five seconds later, the output of the timer will be turned on, and the motor will be will be turned on. Yeah. Uh, let's check. Yeah, we are in the simulation mode. Now we can log in. And verify the operation of the timer. All right, let's run it. So here you can see the values for the variables that we have. And at the same time, you have the visualization. So for now, the value coming from the start is false. If I change the state of the 
the switch you see that here we have true but the output of the of the timer was uh, false and it took five seconds to change the output state of the timer as soon as I change the state of the input to zero the output of the timer goes to zero as well so we have the delay only when we have change from zero to one at the input first five seconds yeah and then okay I just run it again so you can count one two three four five and yeah we have the output okay so this is how to use the timer on delay uh, you can insert the context in the program and refer to e each of these variables for example the output of the timer or the input of the timer in the in inside the program it's it's possible uh, once again the timer has uh, four variables associated with that input is the uh, boolean one output q is the boolean the preset time and the lapse time are time variables as you can see here